indeed it is one of the more important budget speech that will be delivered at about 9 o'clock. The Speaker of the KZN Legislature, Ms. Nontembeko Boyce, will hand down the budget speech for the 2022-23 financial year. But to talk us more through this is the Secretary to the KZN Legislature, Ms. Narusha Naidu. Ma'am, thanks for speaking to us. First, take us through the key priorities and programs that the Speaker will announce today. Good morning, Karinda, and good morning to your viewers. The Speaker will be delivering her budget speech on the KZN Legislature Vote 2. The Legislature is responsible for robust oversight over the Executive, meaning that all uh, the departments led by the Premier account to the Legislature, and the Legislature has to ensure that the Department follows through on their commitments. So the Speaker will be directing the institution in terms of looking at areas of oversight that are critical, looking at progressive laws that should be made by the legislature in this financial year, and also looking at involving public in our processes as a, a, an institution that supports democracy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We are coming off the back of one of the most devastating months in our province, the April floods. What interventions will the legislature be announcing today for the province? The legislature is not a service delivery department. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a department, it's an it's a institution, mm -hmm. an arm of government. So what the legislature will be doing is watching government, ensuring that the committees that are overseeing the respective portfolios of government um, are doing, they're doing their work in so far as making sure that government is spending on what was allocated mm -hmm. for the disaster relief. Mm -hmm. So they would be looking at issues of maladministration, mm -hmm. misappropriation, guiding and supporting. So they do complement the work of the executive, but they will be very much focusing on the disaster relief funds, wh what, whether it is being used for what it was intended to be used for. And that will be done throughout the financial year. So it won't start, it won't just start with the, the relief funds as they're coming in. It will be constantly monitored throughout the financial year. Indeed, a critical component. But going further, the legislature will also be voting and passing the budget for all of our other departments. Uh, tell us how this is going to be done, given there's eight political parties in our legislature. It's a very exciting process. It started on the 5th of, uh, 4th of May, and there's been robust debates going on in the legislature. You would have heard, your viewers would have heard it on the news. So all departments have presented the policy direction for the year for each department. The eight political parties and 80 members, made up of 80 members of the legislature, will then go vote by vote, program by program. The Speaker will take charge of the House, and she will get a report from the chairperson of committees on all the issues that have been addressed for the entire uh, six days that have been uh, leading to this moment. And the Speaker will then put the appropriation bill to the House. But going through each program. Opposition parties, the uh, majority party, they will have an opportunity to at the end also express themselves on each department on how they see the budget process unfolding and how they expect service delivery to be implemented uh, towards improving the lives of the citizens of KwaZulu Natal. So at the end of the day, uh, the priority is to ensure that everything that is voted on today is for the benefit of the people of KwaZulu Natal that are really going through a tough time right now. How is the legislature going to ensure that the votes you are passing today uh, is going to benefit KZN? So when the vote, um, uh, when the budget is passed, 140 billion will be appropriated for the province of KwaZulu Natal. Each portfolio committee will then be assessing each department watching the, the 140 billion as it is divided between the departments, assessing the annual performance plans on a quarterly basis, monitoring whether the commitments that were stated in this legislature in the House is being actually implemented, and taking resolutions and take, debating in the House. So for the entire year, there will be scrutiny of the commitments that have been made by each MEC for every department. And we will continue in a cycle uh, with that process. So it doesn't end at the end of this year. When we start the new financial year, we will also reflect, the, the committees will reflect on what the, the promises were and see if they couldn't achieve it, whether they are still continuing with it. So it doesn't stop, it's a continuous cycle of oversight. Absolutely, extremely critical. Thank you very much, Ms. Nurusha Naidu. She is the secretary to the KZN legislature. 140 billion rand in the hands of the KZN, KZN legislature 
for the people of KwaZulu-Natal ultimately, and of course a very critical uh, uh, component she mentioned is ensuring that disaster relief funds meant for the people of KZN will not be uh, misused, mismanaged. This has been a concern of many people on the ground that are still struggling to rebuild a month after the floods. Today we're going to hear some words as well from the KZN legislature speaker, Ms. Nantebeko Boyce, at about 9 o'clock as to uh, what will be uh, their process going forward to uplift the province after a very trying few years.